All right, I'm going to do a demonstration of how to transfer transfer a new HMI program on an IDEC HMI using a SD card that already has the new program installed on it. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this demonstration. We're going to assume it's already on there. Uh, in the back of your HMI, you're going to have a SD card slot. If you have a newer HMI, that is. Uh, insert your new card into there. Push it until it latches. Uh, your program may have a button to get you into the system menus. If not, the, H the IDEC HMI in the top left-hand corner will access the system mode. Push and hold that for a few seconds. You're going to get a pop-up menu. Top button says system mode. Access that. Then we're going to uh, enter, uh, in this case there's a password protection. I'm not going to show you that password for this. It's a customer's unit. Once you're into the system mode, if you can see that, we're going to sit, click the offline button over here, and then we're going to go to the file manager, and we see the drive, the two different drives. Uh, on the left-hand side, we want to select, we're going to push that several times until it says drive SD card. That will have our new file on it. Uh, the other side says micro slash I. That is the root folder for the HMI where the uh, active program is located. We're going to go down and select the program we want to copy. And then we're going to hit the copy button at the bottom. It'll ask you to confirm you want to copy that. Hit yes. Now it is going to overwrite the old program, so if you need to save your old program, make sure you do that prior to starting this transfer because you will not be able to restore it after this. Depending on the size of your program, it will take a minute or two uh, to transfer the new file. I can't really see that there. I'm trying to get it to focus. There it goes. Okay, when that is complete, you'll get a pop-up message. Uh, button at the bottom says ACK for Acknowledge. We're going to acknowledge that. That gets us back to the top menu for the system mode. From there, we just need to hit Run. That'll run our new program. <clears throat> and your new program will now be active. Uh, at that point, you can remove the SD card if you like. If you don't need it in there for that. Uh, it will have the old you know, the program you just did there as a backup if, in case something happens to that one. So you may want to store that for future use. Um, but uh, that's how you transfer a program to an ITEC HMI.